All right, so you have been thinking about playing games on the Fire device, and it's good news as you can play a multiple variety of new games on different platforms like PC, Linux, Android. And we will explore all that in this video. First of all, I'm going to start with uh, the Steam. So you can install Steam via Linux the App Store or directly via the terminal. And uh, you get the same Steam application that you get on the PC version. And you can play any game of your choice including this The Last of Us and I don't know why they still require this age verification even though I'm already signed in okay anyways you can play these games if you have a powerful enough laptop or PC to run it and if you do not see the option to play this game all you need to do is go to the Steam settings at the top go to the settings and in the compatibility settings you need to enable the run all the titles so now it, all of those titles will be playable. You will need a quick restart. So this is how you can play any title that you want. Now from my library, I will go. I'm going to play a very uh, low demanding title, which is this Combat Master. This is also available on Android, and I'm going to try this on Android as well. And we'll see why uh, you will want to play it on PC and not Android. So let's just start this game and see how it plays. Now quickly I'll go to the settings and first of all change the graphic settings to low. I have a Ryzen 2500 U and it does not have a powerful CPU and GPU. So I'm going to set everything as low. I think the settings it has remembered me from my last play time. And it is set as 900p. I would have liked it to stay at 720 because I want to go as low as possible. Because this laptop is definitely not meant for gaming. So let's quickly get into a match and the matching on this game is quite fast so if you want to try it you can definitely it's similar to call of duty mobile or call of duty franchise so yeah okay so the map is called pool hd i don't know why they have put hd in that hand but let's see because of the gun angle is quite weird i think it is glazed or something okay we are still in lobby and it's not the actual game Let's see if it, it fixes when we actually get into the game. Oh, it is still like that. Then zoom in. And I have to tell you that uh, while recording, also the screen recording of Chrome OS or Fire OS, uh, it's quite choppy. I don't know why. The screen recording uh, is not that smooth. Uh, okay, so now the gun angle has been fixed and it looks normal. So, yes, so while recording, the game definitely gets a lot choppier frame drops are a lot so just uh, look at the gameplay and i will be actually uh, showing you how it actually plays without the screen recording so now i've stopped the screen recording and this is the from the camera recording and you can see how smooth it is playing actually without the screen recording so i'm using steam and it's the pc version of the combat master i'm quite surprised how playable it is um, don't mind my gameplay but it is quite playable you do have to do some settings with the sensitivity and all but yes yeah, this game is really playable with uh, well that was very bad off so you can definitely i would recommend you to not screen record and play so just enjoy the gameplay without any screen recording and you should get much better fps so enjoy the gameplay for a minute and i will be coming up with the android gaming part I will be playing the same Combat Master on Android, it is available on that. And you will see why you should not play this game on Android and stick to PC.
Але я не попал на дороге. Now this is the Combat Master on Android. You can download it from the Play Store, and it's exactly the same game. So, and you share all the progress. So let's start. So this is the same game, and I'm going to do the same thing here as well. Go into the settings and try to change the graphic settings to as low as possible. Everything else looks fine. Let's check out the resolution. Okay, what is set to 648? Okay, so that was 900p this is 648 so let us leave it as default and it's also downloading some resources so let me get into a gameplay so we also need to map the and this is the difference here we need to map it using the game dashboard that we have with the new update as uh, it is not set by default so we just press windows plus g and you will see this so we need to manually bind this key and this is where the limitation arises that we cannot we do not have a right click fire button by default we just has a joystick button so it's, it's going to get a little tricky and difficult so let me map these keys quickly so try to map the keys as well as possible but uh, there are some limitations so let's just hop into a match and see how it performs this is an art gallery theme deathmatch. Let's go. So we are here and I'm trying to press the W key to move forward but I cannot. I have to press the W S together with W and D together to move sideways. I cannot aim. So it's a mess here and I cannot do anything. And I'm definitely going to get them now. Just I can move back sometimes. Yeah, so definitely this is not playable at all. I don't think so. And um, here I'm. Go, go, go. Yeah, I'm trying my hard, but I cannot do that. And I can use the mouse actually to move around using the cursor. No, I can't. I can't even do that. No. I can jump using spacebar, crouch. Okay and use the button to zoom but I cannot control my guns uh, reticle so I cannot fire at my enemies so yes this is not playable at all uh, that is why I told you to play I, I stick to the Steam version and that is fully optimized for keyboard and mouse and this is not at all so um, it, uh, if you have the option definitely play that so I'm just going to get out of this game Let's move on to our next Android game, which is much better than this and uh, a lot more fun as well. So quickly, I want to mention that I tried the Battlegrounds Mobile or PUBG and it did not work. It just opens up, shows the Crafton logo and then shuts down. So it did not work on my PC. So let me know if it worked for you. And this is the Beach Buggy Racing, which is one of my favorite Android games. And uh, this works quite well on this. I've played it before. And... Uh, this time actually I'm going to play it with a controller so you can also map the keys if you want to and it works quite well because this does not have a very what do you say complex moment so I'm just quickly going to the camera view so you can see how it plays out so I'm using the Xbox controller and I've connected it through wire uh, my Bluetooth is not working quite well on the laptop so but this is also is I was surprised that even through wire it is working quite well you can see i can easily control my car so this is a very uh, exciting news for everybody who wants to use the controllers to play and write games or pc games you can use that on the fido s that is quite well let's get into an actual game and this is actually a very fun game we have not played this before definitely try it out it has a great 3d graphics and racing and I was surprised how great the controller performance is in this game. So we had a really fun time. So enjoy the gameplay. I will meet you uh, with one more game in the Android section, which is one of uh, a lot of people's favorite. So yes.
Alright, so finally we have Free Fire Max, which is a very popular game. A lot of you wanted to know, and the good news is you can definitely play this game. Uh, you do not need to manually map the keys as well. You can check out the settings as the keys are already mapped, as you can see. If I try to show you, okay, let me. So press the Windows and G, and you can see the controls are already enabled. I did not do this, so you do not need to manually map it. It is already enabled. So let's just hop into the game and see how it works. Okay, so this is a quick cache, which is I think it is similar to the findings. And uh, you can see it already shows you how to and like which keys to place for which action. And it is working quite well without any issues. The gameplay might look a little choppy because of the screen recording, but it's actually playing quite smooth and you get no issues. Um, playing free fire max and also had a lot of fun playing this game on this uh, because if you use fire OS or chrome OS, you do not expect to play games on it you just use it for maybe android applications and some easy tasks uh, but you actually get to play android games which is uh, it's always been one of my like main uh, reasons to install any of this android OS and to be able to do that uh, it's quite actually quite exciting and amazing and uh, we have the free fire on the google play games for pc i think free fire is one of those very most optimized games for android pc linux and everything so i think that's a good thing so please enjoy the gameplay and i'll see you with one more game uh, which is a very different game uh, it is not of android or the pc double take down double take down Resource First Doom. Double take down. Double take down. So the final game is from the Linux section. This is the Linux App Store. And these are kind of very retro games. And I've just decided to show you one. This is called Astro Menace. And these are really great games. If you are into retro games for time pass or just for fun. So let me just quickly launch it and show you how it is. Okay, so game definitely has that retro vibe going on. So I created my account, not account, my username. So you just quickly get into the game. A lot of things, a lot of things are going on on the screen. Let me just quickly get into a game. Okay, okay, let's just start the game. Okay, so this is like Galacta, I think, but with advanced 3D graphics. Oh, it looks cool. Even yeah, the sound effect is quite good. So definitely a fun game if you are into these retro games. So yes, the so I just wanted to show you that even Linux games is an option. So you get Android, PC and Linux option on the Fido OS. This was the last game that I wanted to showcase and I'm going to leave you with the gameplay. And uh, of course you can play a lot of other games and titles. I just showed you what worked for me and I showed you 
but did not work like the key map in complex shooting games in Android. But you can definitely enjoy the lightweight PC games if you or even heavy ones if your PC or laptop supports it. So yes, that was it for this video and uh, I will hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.